What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is a very special day. We dino tune the Weapon RX-7. I'm so excited. We are loading up the truck, getting ready to go pick up the car, and we're gonna head down to Lucky 7 Racing to get started dyno tuning the car. Now, it's, it's a big risk for me. Um, I've never done this one before. I've never done this before at all. So we are testing it. We're gonna see how it holds up on the dyno and crossing my fingers, hoping that everything goes well, hoping that everything is working properly. And we're gonna see how it goes. Also, shout out to my boy for the fresh merch, DLW Motorsports. So we're gonna be working on something together. But yeah, let's get started. We are about to head out with the truck and trailer. Right there. My buddy Calvin is checking tire pressure and we are about to head out. So we'll see you guys in a bit. Well, we are here. We just made it to Lucky 7. Oh, we are about to unload the vehicle. Get it ready, get it prepped for this dyno day. There's Lucky 7 right there. And we are about to attempt to make this car faster. So, we're about to get, her, get things unloaded and we are going to get situated, trying to get better lighting. There we go. Trying to get better lighting so we can get situated and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right guys, so we are right now testing and checking the timing of the vehicle. Uh, we're getting everything situated before we start doing our pulls. Right now he's testing everything, checking everything, making sure everything is running the way it's supposed to. And we should be good to go. So I have my other GoPro camera set up, so, we, so we'll be recording power pulls and I'll be giving you guys updates as we go along, so stay tuned. All right, quick update. So we are, had to change some things. Uh, we noticed that on the coil wires coming from the computer, two of the wires were backwards, which would have been detrimental to the motor. So we caught that, we fixed that, we reset the timing. Um, we had to do that. And then uh, we noticed some, some drifting when we get into higher RPMs of the timing. So um, we're doing some changes to the injectors. We're changing in the software, I should say. We're changing the injectors, the secondary injectors, and we're updating the software. So we're gonna see if that fixes that. Other than that, everything checks out. Everything looks good. We're, we're still doing some initial checks to make sure everything is okay. And we're gonna get to it. So I'll continue to update you guys. All right, so update. We fixed all of the ignition issues. We have completely got everything going. And right now the car is on the dyno. He's cleaning up some of the maps. And I think we're gonna start running some power pools. So right now he's cleaning up some things, checking some things out. Uh, here we go. So. I'm excited. I'm excited. I am excited. So we are about to get to it. I got the other GoPro running right now. Um, it is logging all of the power pulls for me. So that way it's just sitting there. And then this way I can update you guys on what's going on with my other GoPro camera. So yeah, 
the excitement levels are high. They are very high. So we're getting to it. So I'll keep you guys updated, keep you guys updated on what's going on and what's happening. And I'll let you guys know. Quick update. We are at 301 horsepower at 13 pounds of boost. So we're still dialing some things in. Um, I told myself that if the car makes 300 horsepower, I was happy with that. Anything over 300, I'm going to say that is, that's a win for me. So right now we are still dialing in some things. We are getting things dialed in. I'm excited. Things seems to be going well. Nothing's broken down, nothing's breaking. And we're gonna get this thing to the track soon. So I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, so welcome back. So as you can see, I'm home. The vehicle is home. The dyno session did not go as according to plan, but I am hopeful. So what are the next steps? Well, first let me explain what happened. So as we got on the dyno, the first issue was a timing issue. Uh, we fixed that, we got the timing down, we got the timing set, we got everything done and dialed in as far as timing, and we were ready to go. So once we got to setting up the fuel maps and getting the power pulls done, uh, my tuner uh, noticed that the fuel was not doing what he wanted it to do. He had to add too much duty cycle to the fuel, the fuel injectors and it was way too much. It was more than normal, um, how he explained it to me. And so he thinks that there's definitely an issue with the fuel system and I got to go back over my fuel and see what's going on there. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the injectors and I'm going to check to see if the injectors are flowing the way they are supposed to. If the injectors are not flowing the way they're supposed to, then that might be the, the issue there or it might be one of the issues. And so I'm going to start there. So I got to pull the manifold off. I got to uh, take the injectors out have them serviced, cleaned, and flow tested so I can see the before and after. But I'm hopeful, I'm excited. This was just, I guess you could say, part one of the dyno session for Weapon RX-7. And we're going to figure out what the next steps are. So going forward, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, like I said, start with everything as far as fuel, we didn't have any other issues that came up. There was no fuel pressure drop or anything like that. It was more so the injectors were working harder than normal just to make power. So I'm going to start there. So while I'm pulling off the manifold, taking the injectors, having them cleaned, I'll look at some other issues I need to tackle that's there that I physically saw. Um, not nothing that would hurt performance, but just aesthetically things that I saw that could be a little bit better. So that was our dyno session today. I did not go as according to plan, but welcome to the world of racing where nothing sometimes go according to plan. With that being said, uh, that's gonna do it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. If you did like this content and you wanna see more, go ahead and smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications so that you don't miss another video. And I'll catch you guys in part two. Also, I'm working on merch drop. This is one, I have another one coming that I'm working on with another vendor of mine. And we may get some pre-sales out there. So stay tuned for that. I will be updating you guys on the merch drop and things like that. So stay tuned. With that said, peace out.